हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू दिस चैनल डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे टॉपिक इज कंसेप्ट ऑफ पोलराइजेशन ऑफ वेव्स इट इज रिलेटेड टू द सब्जेक्ट इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक फील्ड थ्योरी ईएफटी दैट इज फॉर थर्ड ईयर ई एन टी स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट पार्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू द पॉइंटिंग थेरम पावर इज गिवन बाय पी बार पी बार इज द नोटेशन फॉर पावर पावर इज एक्सप्रेस एज पी बार इज ई बार क्रॉस एच बार This is the notation for cross product. E bar is electric field intensity. H bar is magnetic field intensity. Now one basic thing: all the three things, E bar, H bar, and P bar, are always and always perpendicular to each other. For example, if E bar is along x direction, that means I will write its direction as a x bar. Then H bar cannot be along x direction. H bar will be perpendicular to E bar. So let us say. H bar is along y direction. If you take cross product of these two unit vectors, that means a x bar cross a y bar, answer is a z bar. What it indicates? It indicates that the direction of flow of power is along a z bar. That means along z direction. So three things, p bar, e bar, and h bar, are always perpendicular to each other. Now. we'll discuss the definition of polarization of waves the time varying behavior of electric field strength electric field strength means e bar in the space is known as polarization of waves in simple language whatever direction of e bar you have you will say the wave is polarized along that direction for example if e bar is along x direction that means its direction is x bar then i will say that e bar is polarized or wave is polarized along x direction on the contrary if direction of e bar is a y bar then we will say that the wave is polarized along y direction and so on now suppose the component of e bar is along x axis then it is denoted by e x component of e bar along x axis is denoted by e x and in simplified language its equation can be written as ex0 cos omega t minus beta z ex0 is amplitude of wave it we are assuming that its nature is cosine wave omega is angular frequency omega t minus beta z this term beta is known as the phase shift it is getting multiplied with z do remember one basic thing whatever notation which is getting multiplied with the phase shift indicates the direction of flow of power same way if i want to write the component of e bar along y direction then it is denoted by ey so its equation can be simply written as ey 0 cos omega t minus beta z what's the change here amplitudes are different e0 and ey0 whereas the term getting multiplied with beta remains same now as far as this polarization is concerned there are three types of polarizations first linear polarization second elliptical polarization and third circular polarization we'll discuss each type of the polarization in detail what we discussed in a simple language polarization of wave means the direction of e bar that gives the direction of polarization of wave consider the wave has two components and talking about the term e bar e bar is electric field intensity so if e bar has two components let us say these two components are ex and ey ex is component along x direction e y is component along y direction and both these components are in phase meaning of this word both these components are in phase means maximum and minimum value of both e x and e y occur at the same time at any instant if i want to show this uh, uh, on this graph then this along x axis i will be having component e x along y axis i will be having component e y at any instant of time the resultant e bar will be combination of e x and e y since e x and e y are in phase the resultant will be along this direction this angle remains constant such type of polarization is known as linear polarization 
the linear polarization can also takes place if only ex is present or only ey component is present in both the cases the linear polarization takes place so in simplified language if the resultant remains same i mean it is not getting changed why it is remaining same because ex and ey are in phase then such type of polarization is known as linear polarization the next type of polarization is elliptical polarization we are again considering the two components of e bar that is ex and ey in the linear polarization we consider that both these components are equal in this type of polarization the components are not equal then in that case if you trace the path of resultant electric field intensity you will get a ellipse like this i have shown the elliptical polarization for different time periods from t is equals to 0 then t is equals to t by 8 t by 4 3 t by 8 and t by 2 now as i mentioned the values of ex and ey are not same but let us say they are phase shifted by 90 degree then in this case the maximum value of ex will occur when ey is zero and vice versa that means if maximum value of ey will occur when ex is zero such type of polarization when amplitudes are not equal and phase shift is 90 degree gives us elliptical polarization as well as if suppose amplitudes are not equal and the phase is not 90 degree but there is some phase difference then in that case also you will get elliptical polarization but you will get some inclined value of e bar like this as shown in such diagrams this is also known as elliptical polarization the third part is circular polarization from exam point of view how to remember these things what we discussed in elliptical polarization we considered e bar has two components ex and ey and we discussed that amplitudes of ex and ey are not same are unequal in circular polarization only difference is that again we are considering the same components but only difference is that these two components are having equal amplitude they are having equal amplitude as well as they are phase shifted by 90 degree this is the condition to get circular polarization in such cases when ex and ey are having equal amplitude and phase shift between them is 90 degree if you trace a path of resultant e bar then you will get a circle the diagram remains same as that of elliptical polarization only difference is that you are getting getting the circular polarization so this is known as the concept of circular polarization